Welcome to this MindView video tutorial looking at how to add dates and time onto a MindView document. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to generate dates and times, how to display this information both in a mind map, in a timeline and in an outline view and some useful exports for reporting on this time and date information. To start adding dates and times onto a branch, we're going to open up the task and timeline module here on the right hand side of the screen. You'll notice at the top we have various different document types, task management, project management and timeline. To learn more about the task management and project management document types, you should watch the video tutorial about project management. For this example, we're just going to be using the timeline view. So in this example we have a meeting agenda and I want to start plotting out the schedule for this meeting. I've selected welcome within the agenda and within the toolbar on the right hand side we can start to add start time, end times and even hours and minutes of the day. So let's start by selecting the start time for this particular agenda item. We're going to select the year, then select the month the day of the month, and finally even the hours, minutes, or even potentially the seconds for this particular agenda item. Notice as I've added this date and time, it's now appeared on the mind map itself. Now if you need to add also an end date to this, you simply follow that same process within the end column within the toolbar on the right hand side. Displaying this information on the mind map gives you a good overview of this information, but there are other views where we can actually refer to this time and scheduling information. One of the views is the outline view. In the ribbon toolbar, by going over to outline, we can see the full list of information from the mind map, including all of the content pieces, for example, the text, attachments, and images. And much like an Excel spreadsheet, you can start to add the start and end times within the columns themselves. This follows the same process that we described within the toolbar on the right hand side. First put in the date, and then any associating time if necessary. MindView's timeline functionality also gives you the opportunity to visualize this as a schedule or action plan. Again, we're just going to change the view from the outline to the timeline view. On the left hand side we have that typical structure of the outline similar to the previous view, but now in the space on the right hand side it started to create a timeline with a scale for us to review this information. Notice as we add dates onto this timeline, they start to appear on the right hand side. Notice now that I've added a number of different dates onto the timeline, how when you have both a start and an end date, you see this duration bar depicting the duration of that particular item. Also notice how the colors from the mind map are reflected within the colors of the duration bars. This is a great way of being able to differentiate between any overlapping tasks as well as help to categorize any information. Now sharing this information can be done in a number of different ways. The print functionality of MindView allows you not only to print this timeline on a single page but by just adding a column of paper, it will actually scale up the image of the timeline, the Gantt chart, the outline, or even the mind map view across multiple pages, making it a powerful visual action plan. When exporting this over to Microsoft Word, you also have the ability to add the start and end dates. Simply follow the same process as normal by exporting to Microsoft Word choosing the custom word export and in this example under the general tab selecting on the dates. 
So now that we did the export from the timeline view, firstly you'll notice that the timeline is at the top of the Word document. And if we scroll down into the body of the text, underneath the header we have both the start date and, where necessary, the end date.